Today I'm going to recap the 1972 classic Jamaican film, The Harder They Come. The movie begins with Ivanhoe Ivan Martin, a poor Jamaican man with big dreams of becoming a well-known recording artist and in desperate search of work. He leaves his home in the rural area of Jamaica and travels on a bus for the first time to Kingston after his grandmother dies to live with his impoverished wastrel great-grandmother Maisie in Kingston, but is rebuffed. Being in Kingston for the first time and not familiar with his surroundings, before he could even locate his granddad, he had all his possessions stolen by a con man, a street vendor he naively trusted. Ivan then breaks the bad news to Maisie that her sister has died, leaving a small amount of money behind, and that he wishes to remain in Kingston and pursue his music career. He later meets Jose, a marijuana dealer playing dominoes outside Maisie's house, who takes him to see Django, a spaghetti western, at the movie theater for the first time in his life. His excitement for urban life quickly fades after he tries to get a job but repeatedly fails and continues to get turned away. He finally drifts into the circle of a Christian preacher and becomes a member of the church choir because music is his passion. At the church, he finds menial work with the preacher and starts to flirt with the preacher's adopted daughter, Elsa, which turns into a relationship without the preacher's knowledge. In his spare time, he turns an abandoned bicycle frame into a working bicycle, then uses it to run errands for his new boss and take Elsa on a romantic ride to the beach. One day, after delivering a record to a studio for the church, he gets captivated by the studio environment and the music and begs the studio owner to record one of his songs, but gets turned away and not taken seriously. He gets into trouble with the preacher after he finds out about his sexual interest in Elsa and then, with her assistance, uses his church for rehearsing secular songs he intends to record. After being brusquely run off by the preacher, for his using the church space as a rehearsal venue, he returns to the church compound to collect his bicycle, but finds an older, much bigger former colleague has taken it and refused to give it back. Challenged to take back his bicycle by fighting for it, Ivan does so, avoiding a broken bottle his opponent wields before slashing the man with a knife. I would kill you. Ah! Don't talk. For which he is sentenced by the local authorities to a violent whipping. After being released, Ivan shows interest in a prominent record producer in Jamaica, where he recorded the song that he writes and performs, The Harder They Come. But in spite of trying to wrangle more, he only gets the standard exploitative $20 offer for his song and refuses it at first. He dreams of stardom upon having recovered his first song, but the stranglehold that the producer maintains on the local music industry and everyone's refusal to play it condemns Ivan to obscurity, that he would later have to accept the $20 offer from the producer for his song. Ivan and Elsa start living together after Ivan was driven away in a jealous rage by the preacher for fornication. By the man called Ivan... Thinking he was going to make it after signing the contract for his song, he slowly realized that the producer gets all the money from the song playing on the radio. With no cash and no work, his old friend Jose offers him an opportunity to make a modest living running marijuana, moving the drug from the country to the city on a motorbike as part of a large, police-protected network. Ivan then becomes a big player in illegal marijuana smuggling and purchases two firearms for his protection. When Ivan complains about the poor pay and that Jose is getting too much of his money for what he obtusely believes is high risk, being oblivious to the collusion with the authorities and how big and connected the thriving marijuana enterprise is, Ivan demands more money, 
So Jose sets up a takedown for him with a corrupt local police official running the protection racket, Detective Jones. On Ivan's next trip, he is flagged down by a policeman who routinely waves him by. Ivan panics and shoots the officer, who dies from his wounds and crashes his motorcycle. Next, Ivan, with more confidence after killing the police officer, has a tryst with Jose's girlfriend. While Ivan is in bed with her, the police surround the house from all angles and try to capture him. A big shootout took place, and Ivan shot his way out, killing three officers. Loving the fame and notoriety, Ivan goes on the run from the police. He returns to shoot and wound the girl, believing she and Jose have betrayed him. Ivan then goes looking for Jose and pursues him in a shootout, shooting at him but missing as they run through the ghetto, creating the most iconic scene from the movie. With his name being all over the news, people start calling and requesting his song on the radio, making his song a major hit in Jamaica, and fans are drawn to his fame as a charismatic rebel. Ivan returns to the countryside to cool off from the police hunting him down. He then steals a flashy car from a resort hotel and drives it aimlessly around the countryside in a reverie. Ivan has staged photographs of himself posing as a flagrant two-gun outlaw. He sends them to the press, which is reluctant to print them. Detective Jones, tasked with rounding up Ivan, temporarily shuts down his lucrative protection racket in order to starve the entire community, thereby pressuring the network to hand Ivan over to the police. He is again betrayed, and the police catch up with him at his hideout, leading to another shootout in which he is shot and wounded. narrowly escaping with his life. Ivan seeks support from his closest drug dealer friend, Pedro, who helps him hide out and helps him with his gunshot wound in his shoulder. With the police stopping the marijuana trade and the other marijuana dealers ready to turn him in, the drug trade can continue. Pedro then advises Ivan to escape to Cuba on a ship that will arrive the next day. A rendezvous with a vessel bound there is arranged, but Ivan is unable to swim, catch the ladder thrown to him in the water, and drag himself up on board the ship. He passes out from his wound and finds himself beached. The police approach the beach after getting information that Ivan is going to escape on a ship to Cuba. Armed with automatic rifles, they corner Ivan on the beach, where they have a major shooting. We're going to do a frontal assault! Alright, hold on! We're going to assault! Alright! Don't worry about the business. One man just come out. Who's the bad man? Who can draw? Come on out. One, who can draw? One, who can draw? Just come out. Who will shut you out? You think you can't dance the last wheel? Say that one bad man. Ivan comes out, holding his two guns, challenging the police to a quick draw shooting. He was then shot and killed by the police. The film ends with a woman's torso gyrating to the sound of Ivan's song over the credits. If you like my recap, please share, like, and subscribe. The full movie is on YouTube if you want to check it out.